Rivers, you know who's lame. We have Joanne, who will be scoring for Isaac. Joanne. Uh, we have Sharon, who will be scoring for Phil. And we'll have Mark scoring for Jason. Here, so uh, so the way this works is it's normal normal Jeopardy rules. Um, if uh, if uh, the person gets the question correctly, that, that amount is added to their total. If they get it, if they buzz in and get it incorrect, that amount is subtracted from their total. So it is possible, Jason, <laughs> to go into negative figures. Um, when you get the double jeopardy, uh, you're allowed to bet as much as you want uh, out of your total. If you have uh, zero dollars, you can bet up to a thousand at that point. Okay. So you can go really into negative figures if you so choose. So, um, you guys ready? Well, let's hit it. Uh, let's go through the uh, categories for the first round. First round categories are. Okay, so you can hit the. Uh, yeah, this, this actually goes through the map, and then you can click on the categories as they go. Okay. So here are today's categories. The first category is... Thank you. <laughs> Greetings. Hey, me too. Your leader. <laughs> astro jokes, astro disasters, and astro comestibles. Um, so we're going to play rock, paper, scissors to determine who goes first. Ready, one, two, three. Uh, Rock beats the two scissors. So Phil, Phil chooses first. Uh, Phil, you have command of the board. I don't know. Let's find out. What's comestibles? So yeah, astro comestibles for hundreds. Astro comestibles. Okay. So click on that. Uh, some inhabitants of the Via Lactea indulge in this whipped chocolate confection, first introduced in 1923. Jason, what is nougat? Nougat is not correct. Yes! Yeah. Uh, Phil! Yeah. Milky Way is correct, oh, yes. Oh, Milky Way. Yeah. Via Lactea. Yes, Via Lactea. Okay, so comestible means edible. Okay, so Phil, you, uh, Phil, you have control of the We need to reset the, uh, the button there. Okay, yes. Okay, uh, perhaps the inhabitants of Barsoom indulge in this chocolate, caramel, and nougat. Confection. Does anybody out there know this particular? What is it? Oh, yeah. oh Jason. Nougat. Nougat. Nougat is not correct. <laughs> <laughs> now can you do Jason now? Yes. <laughs> as soon as they, as soon as you buzz. I would say he was set up. Ah, uh, okay. Who wants to guess? Yes. Mars. Mars bars. Correct. Mars bars. These are astro comestibles. Okay. Okay. Oh, yeah. Uh, Phil, you still have control of the board. Expand the comestibles and let's go somewhere else. Okay. Oh, yeah, you need, to, you need to go back to home. Yes. Okay. There you go. Let's go with your leader for 200. Your leader for 200. Uh, this Soviet leader responded to the USA's mission, the USA Lunar Mission Challenge by refusing to acknowledge USSR's designs on the moon. Phil, who is Nikita Khrushchev? Nikita Khrushchev. Is <laughs> yes. So you can go to you go to Nikita like that, and then you hit home. Yeah. There you go. Cool. Okay. Yeah, this worked out. Oh, we didn't do the second Astro Comestibles, so hit that and we go back. Yeah, hit that, Let's, and then hit the home. Yeah. There you go. Okay, good. We're getting this worked out. Uh, Phil, you still have control of the board. Uh, let's go Take Me Two for 200. Take Me Two for 200. Named for a planet and an Alabama arsenal, this rocket took two humans and a chimp into low Earth orbit. There's a hyphen in the name. Okay, uh, that would be 
the mercury redstone. Yes. Okay. And oh, by the way, uh, whenever possible, answer in the form of a question. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. When appropriate. I forgot that element. Yeah, that, that's a part of it. Okay. Uh, still, still has control of the board. Well, let's go along. Uh, yes. The same for the redstone did not reach orbit. It into low Earth orbit. Oh yeah, you're right. It didn't reach orbit. It actually low Earth. Yeah. Sub into sub orbit. Thank you. That actually. Okay. Uh, Everybody misleading. Gets a misleading. <laughs> poorly worded questions are par for the course. Okay. Um, Phil. Uh, let's let's stick with the same word. Astro Disasters for 200. Uh, this astrophotographer received the M27 award for bringing two C14s within one year. Isaac. Who's your one saying? Correct. By the way, I wish he were here. I wish he were here. Yes. I wanted him to be here. Okay. Um, so, uh, Isaac, you have control of the board. Uh, Astro Jokes. <laughs> Astro Jokes for 200. <laughs> One of these lightweight particles walks into a bar and keeps right on going. <laughs> Jason. What is a neutrino? A neutrino is correct. <laughs> Crap, no, I mean Newton. Who is Newton? All right, let's do Astro Jokes for 100. Astro Jokes for 100. Never trust one of these, they make up everything. Uh, Jason. What is an atom? An atom is correct. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Jason. Astro jokes for 300. Astro jokes for 300. This baryon ordered as a drink, the bartender says, for you, no charge. <laughs> Phil. What is a neutron? Neutron is correct, and please wait till the question is finished. Also, <laughs> Yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah. 300? Yes. Yeah, okay. Yes, 300, correct. Uh, Phil, you have control. Um, let's go with your leader for 300. Your leader for 300. Okay. Uh, the seminal work of this leader of the Royal Society was financed by Edmund Halley, who, reimbursed, who was reimbursed by unsold copies of The History of <laughs> Fish. Phil. Who is Isaac Newton? Isaac Newton is correct. Oh, I thought you were asking the work that the yeah, other one yeah. Maybe the... The seminal work of this leader. Oh, this uh, leader. Uh, yeah, yeah. This leader. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, that's not this side. Yes. Let's go with your leader for 400. Uh, uh, which one? Your leader for 4. Your, your leader for 4. Okay. At least I'll read. Uh, no, no, no. At least I'll let your phone. <laughs> Charles Bolton, the administrator of this organization, has flown in space four times. Jason. What is NASA? NASA is correct. There you go. NASA, right there. Astro jokes for 400, please. Yes. Astro jokes for 400. Why did the dog star laugh at this joke? <coughs> Phil. What is serious? What is serious? Yes, oh. it's too serious. <laughs> yes, he was too serious. <laughs> it was too serious. Yes. <laughs> Phil. You have control of the board. Uh, let's go with Astro Disaster for 400. Astro for 400? Astro Disaster for 100. For 100. The instrument, this instrument requires... <laughs> <laughs> Somebody hit me. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, Phil, let, let's, get a, let's get a roundup of the scores here. I forgot that that was the uh, double jeopardy. Okay. Um, Joanne. 200. 200. Sharon? Uh, um, 1,300. Woo! And yeah, Jason's 400. Jason's 400. Thank you. Oh, wait, I gotta work harder. So. <laughs> uh, 200. Okay, so 200. Go to the question. You. Uh, this instrument required a system of glasses known as CoStar to see clearly. Yeah, you don't have to buzz in. Oh, you. sorry, you're on the other Oh, what is the Hubble Space Telescope? The Hubble Space Telescope is correct, yes. Okay, so Phil, you have control. Uh, let's go with your leader for 500. Your leader for 500. The leader of this organization, Ewine Fleur van Diesenhoek, is a pioneer in astrochemistry. I 
Um, we'll talk about it. Okay, yes, Isaac. What is the Planetary Society? The Planetary Society is not correct. Anybody <laughs> <laughs> else want to uh, lose some money? <laughs> um, okay, so the, 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 so we shall go forward. It's the International Astronomical Union. Uh, uh, you just, that's why it's 500. So, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's the harder. Oh, wait, so the harder it is, the more money you get. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the more money you lose, the more money you get. <laughs> USA only had 10.5 hours of experience in space. Bill, get him uh, with the okay, question again. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, okay, yes, Bill uh, is out. You guys want to buzz in? Okay. <laughs> 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 in this artifact. Joanne Nowen already. <laughs> Joanne, <laughs> wishes, Joanne wishes she played. No. <laughs> yes. Okay. Yes, Phil. Uh, what is the Voyager from? The Voyager um, record. Yes. Golden the Voyager Gold record. record. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. There we go. Voyager Gold record. Phil. Uh, greetings for 300. 300. This greeting, seen here, was appended to these two craft. It's missing a particular line present in the original drawing. Jason? What is Pioneer? The Pioneer, yes. Yeah. You had to think about that, right? I, I kinda... It's not Voyager. It's not and Voyager. it's not Newton. <laughs> yes, it's not Newton. <laughs> it's not going on. Let's go for Newton. Jason. Yeah. After disasters, the three then. 300. Uh, this type of this type of titanic event is thought to produce almost all the gold in the universe. Jason, what is a supernova? That is not correct. What? <laughs> <laughs> yes. Okay. Um, anybody else want to buzz in? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. I thought you had it. I, yeah. I thought you had it. Yeah, that was a that was a tricky one. Yeah. Anybody else want to buzz in? Yes. Is it the singular, singularity collision uh, or combination? Not quite. Neutron, okay. neutron star. Neutron, neutron, neutron star collision. Yes, neutron star collision. Oh. Turns out that supernovas aren't very good at producing gold. It turns out that neutron stars are really good at producing gold. Ah. So, okay. um, so I believe that Jason still has control. All righty, we'll do after disasters for 400. For 400. Uh, according to amateur astronomer superstition, a cloudy new moon weekend can be attributed to one obvious doing this. Uh, Isaac. Find new equipment. Find new equipment is correct. <laughs> yeah. By the way, you probably caught the most cloudy day in my life. I don't know, I think JGAP is responsible for that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. We bought a lot this year. Yeah. Okay, Isaac has control. How about Astro Jokes? At 500. Astro jokes for 500. First star I see tonight. I wish I may, I wish I might. Oh, wait, it's just a. a planet. I know. Phil! What is Venus? That is not correct. Venus <laughs> <laughs> rhyming. Rhyming. <laughs> What is new? No. <laughs> a satellite. Uh, a satellite. First star I see tonight. I wish I may. I wish I might. Oh wait, it's just a satellite. Thank you. 
Okay. Um, however, <laughs> despite all, Jason still has control of the board. <laughs> Let's do greetings for a hundred. Greetings for one hundred. On his February 1962 mission, he carried a note in multiple Pacific languages that read, In part, I am a stranger. I come in peace. Take me to your leader. February 1962. <laughs> Jason. You're correct. No. Anybody? I heard it correctly. John Blake. Play to the, play to the biases of the questionnaires. Okay. Um, okay. Uh, next, uh, we still have several outstanding, uh, outstanding uh, questions here. Uh, and David and I have no control of the still, <laughs> amazingly enough. Uh, take me two, brother. Take me two. How much? A hundred. Thank you, Mark. This rocket was the first, and so far only, vehicle to take humans to another celestial body. Phil was a Saturn V. Saturn V is correct. So Phil has wrested control of the board from Jason. Um, let's go with, take me two for 300. 300. The three of these that were deployed traveled a total of just 56.05 miles. Phil. What are Martian rovers? Martian rovers is not correct. Oh. Uh, anybody? 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 Lunar, Lunar, Lunar rovers. Lunar rovers is correct. Lunar. Yes, Lunar rovers is correct. <laughs> However, Phil still has control of the board. Uh, let's go. Take me two. Take me two. Okay, so these are things that people are taking to. Okay. To accelerate hypothetical spacecraft up to speed, called for the detonation of between 500 and 1,000 small nuclear bombs, this spacecraft. Ouch. Yes. Bill. What is Daedalus? Daedalus is not correct. Um, yes. And are, we, are we done? OK, yes. Go for it. Go for it. You're, you're up. Yes. Project what Orion. Is yes, Project Orion. Oh, Project Orion. Yeah. 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 Nice job. All right. Cool. Uh, like Bill still has control. Of Let's go. Green for four hundred. Greetings for four hundred. Okay. The human figure seen here was part of a message beamed at M thirteen using this telescope.
originally named Opal Fruits, <laughs> the current name of this convention suggests that it can be seen from mega parsecs away. Phil. Starburst is correct, yes. <laughs> Phil, you are uh, in control. I will say Astro Comestibles. Astro Comestibles. Uh, this gum will give you fresh breath in 2019 in the South Pacific, 2020 in Chile, and 2021 in Antarctica. Isaac. Place Eclipse. Yes. <laughs> Dark color, not its density. Who is a Trekkie here? There are Trekkies. I'm sure Mark Watson knows the answer to this, right? You do not. Okay. It's 500. It's 500. Yeah, that's a hard. I can put the hard questions. 500. Okay. Anybody out there want to take a venture? Guess. Or no. Yes. A black, hole. a black hole. Thank you. Clay gets 500 points. <laughs> okay. uh, and Isaac still has control. All right. So uh, Astro Disasters, 500. 500. The seven of these in the surface of Harlan J. Smith Telescope at McDonald Observatory do reduce the effective aperture from 107 to 106 inches. Jason. What are bullet holes? Bullet holes is correct, yes. <laughs> <laughs> bullet holes. Some, some disgruntled employee shot at the mirror and put four bullet, seven bullet holes in the, uh, um, in the uh, <laughs> surface of the mirror, and it didn't affect it at all. That's went right on work. So. so if you feel frustrated, don't take it out on your mirror. That's uh, a full thickness mirror. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so uh, I think uh, to, we, will, we will reveal the, the final. Okay, so. Uh, James Cook took this ship, which shares its name with the Apollo 15 command module, to observe the Venus trans the transit of Venus from Tahiti. Isaac. Is the eagle? No. 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 <laughs> you know what's weird is? I actually forget the answer to this one. <laughs> Yes, it is the endeavor. Yeah, that's the endeavor. Yeah. Endeavor, thank you. So, uh, let's review the uh, scores. Jason, the score. No, now, now it's yours. Let's review the scores. Jason has 300. 300. Uh, Phil has. Sharon? Uh, I'm still counting. Okay. A <laughs> lot. Let's, let's move on. Isaac has. I'm sorry. 200 and 700. 700. Okay. So uh, Jason's in the lead. No, no, no. So Phil's in the lead. Phil's in the lead. But let's review it one more time. 200 for Isaac. 700 for Phil. 300 for Phil. 300 for Jason. Thank you so much. So we will move on to the uh, to the second round here. Does anybody want to play uh, the Jeopardy theme on the piano? Okay. Okay. So we will go to the next. as many points as, uh, as gain, and uh, so you can go even further into negative figures if you so choose. And we have uh, a new set of categories, so let's review those categories. News you missed. 
star cupping. Yeah. Oh, last names, you give the last name of the person. Mirror materials. Sci-fi sounds. And say it backwards. So, uh, they say it backwards. You have to say the answer backwards in the form of a question, of course. So, uh, what is, is uh, Sid Tall? Okay, Sid What? Yeah, you have to say it backwards. Sid Tall. Sid Tall. Basically, the answer is Sid Tall. Okay. So, uh, the last person to control the board was Isaac. So, Isaac has control. All right, let's start with last names for 200. Last names for 200. Uh, Dutch physicist, mathematician, astronomer, and inventor Christian Phil. What is Huygens? Huygens is correct, yes. That's ridiculous. <laughs> Phil has control of the board. <laughs> let's go with last names for 400. Teleview founder Al. Oh, come on. <laughs> Jason. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> What is Newton? No, I'm kidding. Al Nagler. <laughs> Nagler is correct, yes. Jason, go on board. All right, we'll do last names for 600. Last names for 600. German optician Bernhard, the S in SCP. Phil. Schmidt <laughs> is correct. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's like, is it, these are a little easier, yes. Uh, let's uh, go with mirror materials for 200. Mirror materials for 200. Uh, I was waiting for uh, amorphous, an amorphous, transparent solid, probably made from sand. Phil. What is glass? Glass is correct. <laughs> it I'm sorry, it's obvious. I'm just gotta make each other. Would everybody like to test their buttons? <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's go star hopping for 200. Star hopping for 200. This familiar cluster is roughly midway along the west edge of the Keystone of Hercules. Phil. What is that? 13. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Alright, start watching it. See if it's before the end of the video. Yeah. Yeah. So actually what you can do is you can uh, you can <laughs> pull them out. No, you can't. It used to, there was used to be a way that you could pull them out, but this doesn't happen. Well, let's All try right. star hopping for 400. Star hopping for 400. Along a line between beta and gamma lyra. Jason. <laughs> <laughs> what is M57, the ring number? M57. Yes, very good, thank you. Jason has rested control from Phil. Okay. It was hard. Yeah. Uh, we'll do mirror materials for 400. Mirror materials for 400. It can be applied to the surface of a mirror by nitrate, deposition, electroplating, or by heating a mercury amalgam. I see. No. <laughs> no <I'm here>. <laughs> <laughs> um, what is aluminum? Aluminum is not correct. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh. Okay. okay. Anybody? Silver. It's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Yeah, it's silver. Oh, silver. Yeah, it's silver. Oh, exactly. Silver. Water is a mercury. Uh, yeah. So yeah. I think. Water. Jason had control because he got the 57 question. Yes. Alright, uh, let's do star hopping for 600. Star hopping for 600. <laughs> Draw a line eastward along the stars Alnitak, Alnilam, and Nintaka, and you'll run into this bright star. Jason. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. <laughs> 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 I know, I know what it is. I know what it is. What is Elder Brown? Aldebaran is not correct. Yeah, it's serious. Yes. It's eastward. Yes. Oh, it's it's yeah. eastward. So, so uh, Jason and Phil both, both uh, <laughs> get out of that. Okay, so that goes on. How much did they lose? They lost uh, 600. Wait a minute. How did I lose that? I got it right. No. No, no but you didn't. You, 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 you waited too long. Zetatori towards Elmiath, just like its discoverer. Very good. Uh, let's go star hopping for a thousand. Star hopping for a thousand. 
This diffuse neighbor of the Milky Way is easier to spot if you found the little gem planetary in 6818 first. Phil. What is Barnard's galaxy? Barnard's galaxy is correct. Whoa. Ah, yes. <laughs> 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 hey, favoritism. Very good. Features, <laughs> <laughs> man. Uh, let's go back to mirror materials for 600. Mirror materials for 600. William Herschel's 40-foot telescope had a mirror made of this alloy of copper, tin, and an alarming patina of arsenic. Jason. The speculum? Speculum is correct. Yes, that's not the thing that pregnant women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, is it the same material? Yeah, no. All right. Mirror materials for 800. Mirror materials for 800. Okay, so let's review the, the quantities. Uh, we have Isaac at, at zero. Isaac is at zero. Uh, oh, there it is. <laughs> Working on it. Sharon, uh, Phil has. <laughs> Jason has. 1100. Ooh. 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 Considerably more. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Twenty two hundred. So Jason, what do you think? How much? Eleven hundred. Eleven hundred. Pulling it all away. Got it. Okay. Right. Go big or go home. Okay. Right. <laughs> okay. So you go to the next one. Go to the next one. Okay. This mirror material is the most abundant material at the surface of the Earth. Oh, what is quartz? Quartz is correct. Yeah, quartz. Yes. Yeah. Dang! <laughs> there you go. Right. So, they've, they've gone into the lead. Jason, you have control of quartz. Uh, bare materials for a thousand. Bare materials for a thousand. The James Webb Space Telescope's mirror segments are made of this light and rare element, number four, on the periodic table. Jason. <laughs> is not correct. Lithium! Lithium is not correct. Oh, jeez! Lithium's correct! Phil! What is beryllium? Beryllium is correct, yes, beryllium. Beryllium is like poisonous or something. I was going to say what the people did. Beryllium. So, Jason, very true way is this higher daily level. Uh, Phil now has control of the port. Uh, Wait a minute. I no, I know, but then I know you have a thousand one hundred. Yeah, okay. Okay. Um, wait, let's go backwards. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Twelve hundred. Let's go uh, backwards. It's safe. Backwards. It's safe. Yes. <laughs> it's safe. I'm not even okay, so, so, see what is the you know you know that's okay. Is this two hundred? Yes. Say it backwards. Two hundred. An enormous ball of gas that shines by nuclear fusion. Isaac. That is not correct. <laughs> it's oh, you mean that spot? Okay, got it, got it, got it, got it. Uh, Jason. What is it? Me, news, uh, threats. Okay, I'll accept that. Uh, I actually was looking for rats, but, uh, but I, I realized that the, the, the question was not worded correctly enough, so I will accept noose as, as, a, as a response. Um, so, uh, Jason. Yes, wait a minute, no, if you accept noose, that was the answer. No, he said, what is noose? Yes, which, which was not correct. Okay, because it wasn't in the form of a question backwards. So. So Jason, Jason did it properly. <laughs> Jason did it properly. <laughs> wow. Uh, let's let's stay away. Uh, that clear, did I not? <laughs> let's stay away from that as much as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll have to get out of it at some point. Yeah. Okay. What? Uh, yeah, okay. Uh, well, Jason, well, last name for 800. Last name is for 800. Umlauted Austrian eyepiece inventor Simon. His design is sometimes called a symmetrical eyepiece. Phil. So what is a plossel? Plossel is correct, yes. Who is plossel? Yes. It was a question. Plossel. Yes. Uh, let's go last names for a thousand. Last names for a thousand. 
Solar astronomer and major oh, observatory. Wait, 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 wait. There we go. Yeah, solar astronomer and major observatory planner George Ellery. Jason. Hale. Hale is correct. Hale. Hale. Okay. There we go. Yes. Okay. Bill. No. <laughs> hey. oh, I don't know why that was there. Uh, Jason has control. Sci-fi sounds for two. Sci-fi sounds for two hundred. Okay. Now you will have to. Push that. It's the weapon hurts. <laughs> what is the lightsaber? Lightsaber is correct. Yes. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so the question uh, will start as soon as I finish reading, and then I'll play the question. You guys can buzz in as soon as you get. Okay. All right. So we'll do through through that. Through that. Uh, Sci-fi sounds for four hundred. Sci-fi sounds for four hundred. Douglas Rain, the actor who voiced this character, passed away in November 2018. I'm sorry, Dave. I'm afraid I can't do that. Yes, Phil. Who is Hal? Hal is correct, yes. Hal. Hal 9000. Hal 9000? Let's go with sci-fi sounds for 600. Sci-fi sounds for 600. <laughs> Wait, are there two double jeopardies in the second round? The two double jeopardies in the second round. <coughs> there should be. Oh my gosh, really? I, you know, you know, Orion, I'm not sure. I can't remember. There, there are. There are. There are. Yeah, there are. Yeah. Forty-four hundred. Okay, so forty-four hundred. How many does Jason have? Twenty-four. Twenty-four hundred. Minus one hundred. Minus one hundred, Isaac. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I told you, Isaac. If, if, if you have negative figures, you owe me a cookie later. <laughs> uh, okay. So, uh, Phil, how much would you like to gamble? Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. That's smart. Okay. So, go on to the next. Okay. This in this nineteen. 1982 film imagined how the, yeah in, in 1982 <coughs> this film imagined how the computers of 2019 would sound. Oh. Yep. What? Let's buzz in. You don't have to buzz in. You can just answer. Uh, what is Blade Runner? Blade Runner. Yes. Yes. Correct, yes. No way. Yes. 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 Okay. Yep. Blade Runner. Okay. okay. Uh, so let's go sci fi sounds for 800. Sci fi sounds for 800. Various beings pay a visit to the Buckeye State without paying a toll in this 1977 film. So, heptapods. So, that's a thousand. It's tough. It's supposed to be tough. 
Uh, I believe that Phil has control of the board. Yes. Um, I'm going to stay as far away from the CF effort. <laughs> 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 yeah, some guy. Let's go with News You Missed. News You Missed for 200. Uh, a Neptune sized body about the planet. 1265D is the first one of these to be detected outside of our solar system. Yeah. What is a Neptune sized body? Phil. What is a super Earth? Super Earth is not correct. <laughs> Just what? What's an exoplanet? Exoplanet is not correct. Oh. <laughs> what is nougat? <laughs> Yes. What is an exo moon? An exo moon exo is correct. Yes. Yeah. Oh, yes. Exo oh, moon. Correct. Oh, right. It was the first moon to be detected outside of our solar system. So you missed it. The news. You missed this news. So you know. That's why. That's why. Okay. Uh, you still have. Uh, let's see, Phil. The news you missed, and apparently we'll still keep missing for a yeah. while. <laughs> okay. According to a new study published this year, it's probably about 200,000 light years across, not 100,000, as had been thought. Phil! What's the Milky Way? The Milky Way is right. There's a lot of little fake stars that are out there, you know, making the Milky Way a lot bigger. So, uh, Phil! Uh, news you missed for 600. News you missed for 600! <laughs> According to a recent study, this is the remnant core of what was once the third largest galaxy in the local group. Yeah, let me consult Google. Yes, okay. Yes. Can I check the news? Okay. Look at that one. Okay. Anybody want to, want to throw out a wild guess here? Yes. Yes. What about the Andromeda Galaxy? That is not correct. It is, in fact, the largest uh, galaxy. It is M32, one of the satellites of the Andromeda galaxy. It is, in fact, the remnant core of another galaxy that was ripped to shreds. Yes. Okay, M32. By M31. By M31. Right next to M31. Okay. Uh, Phil Silver retains control. Uh, not say it backwards category. <laughs> not say it backwards, which would mean news you missed. News you missed for 800. News you missed for 800. Okay, uh, these asteroids which orbit 60 degrees in front of and behind Jupiter are thought to be leftovers from this giant gas formation, this gas giant's formation, oh, from the gas giant's formation. What are Trojans? Trojans, is correct, yes. Thank you, I was reading that incorrectly. Phil? You uh, uh, for, for grand. Okay. Observations from this ESA satellite have detected some stars that are just passing through the Milky Way. Mother Earth? <laughs> yes. Gaia? or Gaia? Yes, that is correct. Very good. Yes. A thousand points. I don't know your name. Bob. Bob gets a thousand. <laughs> so, uh, the category we've all been dreading, say it backwards, <laughs> say it backwards, you must say it backwards. The easiest thing to do is go see what, or see tall, you know, excuse me, at the end, and then you go to say see tall at the end, and that will, that will get you the uh, proper uh, the proper answer. And Jason is actually writing it down to remind himself. Yes. So, uh, Phil has control, so he's able to take him out. Thousand. <laughs> okay. It's pretty hard. They come in dark emission and reflection varieties. Isaac.
arbitrarily enlist a, uh, invent a rule here. Uh, you have to write it down before you buzz in. <laughs> you have to write it down before you buzz in. So if you write faster, you buzz in faster. That's right. So oh, wait a second, that last answer, doesn't that sometimes have an E instead of an S? They can have a nebulae or nebulas or nebulae. I would just say. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Okay. That's exciting, right? Okay. Nice. Uh, okay, so uh, Isaac, uh, Isaac, Isaac, okay. Okay. So Isaac, master linguist. Write down C tall first. C tall. Oh, yeah. C tall. So an actor, though, right? Yeah, that's yeah, 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 backwards. Yeah. C tall. Backwards. Say it. Say it. Backwards. Eight hundred. 800. One of these likely originated in the Corker Belt or the Oort Cloud. Ooh. I think. The Moxita. Yes. Tamok. Yes. Star sits at 89 degrees, 16 minutes north declination. Oh, oh. Phil. Uh, Sir Rolla. <laughs> yes, correct. <laughs> Sir Rolla. <laughs> Sir Rolla. <laughs> Sir Rolla. <laughs>
Fifteen dollars. Oh, no, fifteen dollars. No, fifteen hundred. Okay, so bet accordingly. So please place your bets. And uh, we will get to the end. Yep. Okay. Yes, go for it. Okay, so we will play the uh, music here. Uh, actually, sing the song, guys. Um, in Central Ohio in 2018, the earliest sunset of the year occurs at 5.06.23 p.m. on this day. Yeah. <laughs> 